Greetings everyone and welcome to this new video on Bayesian analysis and its difference against frequentist analysis for medical students and researchers. All my videos until now were based on the frequentist or the classical philosophy. If you might have um, seen my video tutorials for different statistical analyses in JASP, you might have noticed that I always choose the frequentist or the classical statistics option. You might have also noticed that underneath the classical statistics option, there is a Bayesian counterpart for the same test. So what exactly are these frequent tests or Bayesian varieties you may ask? Bayesian analysis is based upon the work done by Thomas Bayes, who was an English statistician and philosopher who formulated Bayes theorem related to conditional probability. Although I won't go into any further detail regarding the math involved in this, I will delve into the intuition behind Bayes' theorem and Bayesian analysis. Bayes' theorem provides a way to revise existing predictions or theories when given new evidence. On the other hand, frequentist analysis usually does not take into consideration prior knowledge and does not seek to update existing knowledge. That is to say, Bayes' theorem updates pre-existing probabilities. The crux of the difference between these two statistical philosophies is that Bayesian analysis uh, does take into consideration that the researcher or analyst has a prior knowledge or a prior hunch about the result and they analyze the data based upon their opinion. This opinion about the result may be formed from prior research or studies, or it may be from professional experience. Bayesian analysts use their own perspective while analyzing data. Uh, on the contrary, frequentist analysts seek to find out absolute results from their own data. So after conducting the analysis, Bayesian analysts use the results obtained uh, to update their prior knowledge about a topic by incorporating new information from their data. The frequentist analysis is based on the notion that if they were to repeat the same study over and over again, how many of those times would they guess correctly? How many of those times would they guess the answer correctly if they did their analysis frequently? Hence their names, frequentists. This is also a partial explanation of the intuition behind the significance level, p-value and statistical power, uh, what I've already talked about in previous videos. So you might draw some uh, similarities from this video. In a nutshell, a Bayesian statisticians change their mind about beliefs. Frequent statisticians change their minds about action. Bayesians have a subjective view on probability. Whereas, frequentists have an objective view on probability. Hypothesis testing yields a p-value in classical statistics, whereas we get a base factor, which is a measure of the strength of evidence, uh, which is obtained after performing a Bayesian analysis. Also, in classical analysis, uh, we get confidence intervals, whereas uh, its Bayesian counterpart is credible intervals. You may also choose to have a look uh, in the description below in this video where I've added a link to a very intuitive video which further explains the difference between Bayesian and classical analysis in a very philosophical way. This was just this video was just intended to give you a practical overview of these two analyses. The uh, following video will uh, hopefully give you an understanding when to use Bayesian analysis and when to use a classical or a frequentist analysis. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.